Well guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Heart Tongue Family Farms. Today it's six o'clock in the morning, and I am just taking off to head up to the farm to go haul some kern. See you guys out there. Alrighty guys, before we get this video started, be sure to go down to this corner right here, that little red box. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it, it just takes five seconds and it is free. This spring is just around the corner. We got plenty of equipment stuff going on today. Oh yeah. Nathan's gonna be hauling some corn with me too. So I'm gonna check in with this these guys and I'm gonna go head up and head up to uptown and grab my semi and get rolling. Hi Max, how are you? Hi hey, boy. Hi hey, boy. Well I got forgot to tell you guys what we're doing today, but today, as you can see, we're gonna be hauling corn for a while. But I think I'm going to split this video up into two guys I already know because we got two GoPros getting footage, I believe. So we're going to have a lot of footage for you guys today. So first part will be trucking corn. So I'm going to go up. Nathan's going to be hauling in the old 93 Freightliner. And I'm going to go up and take the new truck, which is uptown, and finish off my dad's contract. So Nathan and Pat each haul a load of my dad's contract. So there should just be two loads left. And I'm going to haul them today. So one of my truck's already loaded and we're going to, head, we're going to get going. Alrighty, there's my unit. Let's crank her up and get this show on the road. I need two loads and I need to get going because I got another side project I got to do today. That involves field work. Alrighty, she needs a little while to warm up, so I'm going to get my GoPro stuff set up while I'm warming up. While this thing's warming up and airing up. Alrighty guys. So for those of you who do not who think I'm an awful shifter from the last time, I'm gonna prove you wrong right here. A lot of people at work give me some crap for that 1973 Ford that I drove, or 1970s Ford that I drove, but I'm gonna prove you guys wrong. Ooh, I'm out of breath for some reason. So I just got up to the truck, did my pre-trip, and I am taking off. Gave the truck plenty of time to warm up. So, and for those of you guys who don't know, I do not show everything on camera. So for example, I had a couple of comments on one of my videos where, well, you didn't do a pre-trip inspection or uh, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I don't show everything, guys. I mean, I don't show the boring, repetitive stuff. I'm checking oil, tapping tires. I don't show all that, but it does get done. I just feel like you guys, it, it's not worth your time seeing that because I do that every time. I try to give you guys something different, and I tried the goal of this channel to get you guys to learn something. But now I'm going to show you guys that I can shift. We're gonna head to Clinton and we're gonna go do it two loads. Because I believe that's all my dad's got left for his contract. The one load I got on right now. And I believe he's gonna uh, Cole Dickey, the owner's son, is gonna get up here at like, I don't know, nine o'clock or so. And he's gonna come load me for another one. So again guys, this is a 13-speed transmission. So I'm, I'm in the upper range now and I'm splitting them. They're Smithsons. This is a third, like I said, a 13 speed transmission. I'm in the upper range right now, so I'm splitting high low. I'm gonna go into fourth here soon, right there. See, no gear grinding. I'm talking to you, Tyler Smith. So I can shift without grinding gears. A Mecca, if you're watching. So. We're gonna go ahead, head to Clinton. Nathan's also hauling right now, as you guys saw. He'll, he'll probably be down there before me, I'm guessing. We 
guys, look at this. Look at this on the left. What are those? What are those? Those are anhydrous tanks. Some guys are putting on anhydrous. I believe it was house right next to us. They tilled all this stuff up. Man, oh man. Alrighty guys, so I'm just pulling into ADM. Nathan is right behind me actually. So what I was saying before guys is that house was actually running or a farmer near us was actually running back on Monday. They were putting hydrous down. In my opinion, it was a little early, but hey, they're doing what works for them. So, and then uh, I can't remember what else I was going to tell you guys, but if I do, I'll throw it down there if it was anything important. Sorry. But, uh, but yeah, so this is my first of two loads going down to ADM. We're just down here. It's a little wet today, so it's a little damp. Just not very good drying days, but we'll have those. It's still spring. It's still a little early, but switch over to the ADM channel and then we'll go dump this corn go back get another one and then go back come back and then continue on with the day not quite sure what's exactly gonna happen I have a feeling I, I, I have a feeling I know but I mean plans change every day or every minute so not even gonna bother telling you guys look right there it's my friends my friends the turkeys they're there I missed you guys hi Hi buddies. Big. <coughs> Probably big from all the corn they eat down here. Oh yeah. Hi turkeys. Woo! Who's this guy? So I, as you guys can see, this is kind of a good side-by-side -side view, but this trailer's taller than mine. Nah, it's kind of tough to see, but you count ribs, this trailer's like two ribs taller than mine. Here's a commodity trailer, mine's more of a green trailer. Alrighty guys, so I just made it back to the store. Perfect timing because Cole just got here. He's gonna load me up sooner rather than I thought, so that's perfect. We're gonna get down, load up, get down to Clinton, and get rolling. Alrighty, getting loaded up here. Should be loaded up in 15 minutes. I'll head down. It's 8:40 right now. I should be loaded up by 9. Head down to Clinton and back by 9:30, and I should be ready to roll. I believe. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna be doing the, the rest of the day. I, like I said, I had a feeling, but so Nathan, I believe, is done trucking. I think they're gonna start moving equipment. So we'll see. Alrighty guys, I'm loaded up. Ready to head down to Clinton. The last load. Last load of my dad's corn, then my dad's corn is gone for this year. Sweet, looking good. Hey everybody, we're uh, this morning we're hauling some corn. Down at ADM right now. Ronald's hauling with the other semi. Uh, drive through today, kind of nice. Nice day today. Sounds like we're gonna get spring equipment swip, switched around. So, it's gonna be a pretty busy one. It's my last load for the day. It sounds like Ron's gonna bring one more too and he's gonna be done. So, just chugging along. I'm hauling with our day cab, as you can see. And right now it's hauling with the other semi. Uh, along with the sleeper and the maroon. Just pulling in guys and there's already, I already tell there's more people than there, there was last time, but that's all right. You can't, can't be seven o'clock traffic for, forever. Well, I lied. There's like no one here. That's good. A couple people behind me, but still no one here. So I'm down here at ADM right now and there's an Eberhardt truck that, that I followed down here. Eberhardt's the, the co-op that basically we buy all our anhydrous from and a lot of our chemicals. So, but anyway, um, Eberhardt's, but, uh, so Eberhardt's is, like I said, they have a trucking company. They do, they do put up bins. They do a lot of stuff in hydrous. We buy our hydrous from them. Somebody oh, there goes Nathan. Nathan just got finished, but so, like I said, recap, terrible story tell. I apologize to you guys, but Devin works full time for Eberhardt's. Eberhardt's trucking today. I was found an Eberhardt truck into Clinton. That's Eberhardt and that's Devin. 
the guy who helped us out last fall. That's pretty sweet. And there just one Nathan. There's Devin, right there. Hi Devin, everyone say hi. Alrighty, I just got back. Got two loads in, my dad's contract is filled. And now this thing is filthy because that last load I was run, loading the wrong way. So you can kind of see it's, it's all grindy, especially up top. So I'm gonna rinse this off real quick. Yeah, you can just kind of see it's all grimy. I'm gonna try and rinse it off real quick. And Nathan's gonna do nothing like usual. Worthless, can't find any good help. Alrighty, good enough. So either Nathan's gonna pick me up or I'm gonna go walk a little ways. And then talk to Pat, touch base with him, and then I'm probably gonna head up to Bellevue. Weren't able to get any soap on her, or don't have time to, but at least got the grime and stuff washed off for the most part. Forgot a spot, whoops. So that's good enough for me, so. I wanna walk back over because Nathan didn't pick me up. Now I can't be lazy. I too can yell barn swallow. All right guys, back here. So while I've been gone, it looks like Nathan last night washed the loader tractor, which that probably hasn't been washed in a, a long time. I haven't seen this tractor this nice since it was brand new. I can actually see blue, it's not full of poop. Especially the tires, the tires are white. What is that? I didn't know they were white. Weird. All right, and a little update on the progress on the skid loader. So you can kind of see, there's where the bearing was, or which connects to the wheel. There's kind of the inside of that 1840 skid loader right here. Kind of get the engine back there, goes into the hydrostatic pumps, and they actually hook up to, you can kind of see these tie rods right there. I believe those actually hook up to the controls. They're kind of via linkages. So yeah, on this track, on this skid here, you can actually slide this cab forward. That's how we're actually getting at this. It's pretty neat. And you guys might wonder like why, how is this safe leaving this bucket up there? Well, it wouldn't be unless we had this kind of dead man stop is what I like to call it. So if the hydraulic cylinder can't drift, it actually hits the sheet metal stop that normally we pin it up. So that way it's uh, out of the way, but because we're actually working on it, the only way you can get at this cab is if you raise the entire boom up. So that's what we had to do. But yeah, it's kind of neat. It's got two pumps it looks like stacked together. And they go to the hydro, hy, hydraulic motors. So, pretty neat. I don't claim to be an uh, expert on engines, especially hydrostatic engines, but I know I'm just enough to be dangerous in my opinion. <laughs> and that's what this is. So this actually is the bearing that's out. I believe that's bad. So we gotta replace that. And that's what Pat's been working on the off time. Be nice once we get this going because that way we can actually have two, the skid loader down at Pat's place for messing with the cow calf pairs. But it's not a necessity right now. You absolutely, we don't absolutely need it right this time. But so that's what's going on at the farm right now. Um, I'm gonna go out and check with Pat, see if they don't, see if they need anything else, and then I'm gonna head up to Bellevue. I always told you guys I was gonna show you guys our spring house, but here's our spring house. I'm gonna show you that while I'm walking back here. So this is also a place where my grandma used to dress chickens. I'm gonna leave it at that because I know some people are kind of queasy. That was nothing bad in here. But basically the spring comes out right here. This is where all that spring water starts. It kind of comes out, leaves somewhere down up in that area. So 
There's the fencer we have hooked up to the cattle. Yeah. So the spring starts here, and that's where the water just starts flowing. So you can kind of see it coming out right there. That's the spring house. All right, he just yelled at Nathan, who was over there. So I'm going to go back, wash the quad, because they just, or just rinse the quad's tires off, because they were, they fell in a mud hole back there. So that's a, instead of going to talk to Pat, Nathan's going to do that for me. Well, I uh, rinse the quad off. I had to take two of power washing. Alrighty guys, so I just picked up the drone. Just picked up the drone and I'm gonna head up to Bellevue. So I think I'm gonna pause the video I'm making right now. I'm gonna start a new one when I get up there because that's gonna be the first field work of 2018. We're gonna put some seed in the ground, guys. So I got the drone, got my GoPro. My dad and I are gonna go do that. So I'll catch you guys up when we are done in Bellevue. Alrighty guys, we're back from Bellevue. You have to stay tuned for that video. That's gonna come out in two days, what we did. But basically that's the first field work of 28, 2019 that we did. But Anyway, so I am back right now. Uh, I brought the drill back, which is right there. And I need to put that thing away before it rains tomorrow. So to do that, I have 706 right here. I need to pull, start up, pull out, pull that thing out of there, unhook that feeder wagon, uh, hook onto that thing, and then pull that thing in. Oh, a lot of jumping around to do. So, let's get her done. This thing started up, moved out. I need to air up those front two tires. Ah. They'll be fine. So they were flat, though they're flat right now, but I'm not doing much with them. I'm not road travel or anything. The one was flat. I put an air bomb tank into it, which is basically a portable air tank. I put that into it and it was, and that worked, made it fine. So I'll pull this back this thing around or flip this thing around and unhook it. The nice thing about having this 706 is that the actual hitch is on a three point. So you don't even need to crank a jack. It's extremely nice. All right, time to go hook up to the drill. The 706 is handier than heck. It's just a gas model, but it's just so nice for moving stuff around.
Alrighty guys, sorry about that, but my GoPro literally died right in the, as I was just about ready to start the outro. So, record this real quick at home while I'm editing the video. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Tongue Family Farms. And of course guys, as always, ta-ta for now and be sure to stay tuned for future videos. We got plenty of stuff coming. A lot of new equipment. Not going to say anything more on that. And we're actually just going to be starting field work here on Tuesday. Cross our fingers.